All right, everybody, we are hopping into a showcase here for the STR Turtles. Now, uh, we're, we're so where we are, we are in uh, Space Traveling Warriors Super Battle Road. All right, by the way, this is a 200% level 10 links uh, showcase video for this free to play Turtles. Uh, you farm this guy up from the Dragon Ball Story event. Uh, if you go to, you know, like whenever you click on the like the start tab or whatever, like the you know the big blue button on the home screen, and there's like Dragon Ball stories. You go there, you go to movies, then you go to the Fruit of the Tree of Might one. That's where you farm this guy up. Now, <laughs> um, we we are in Space Traveling Warriors Super Battle Road. Uh, if you di guys didn't know, Kid Buu is the final fight. This is the first rotation I have had of Turles in this fight. Uh, turn one, or like uh, fight one, right? Uh, we, we hop into fight one, he's in tur he's in rotation two, and I'm like, okay, fine. We'll float off a Mond and Raisin, and we'll get him next to him pretty quickly. Well, um, what ends up happening is uh, we almost take out the enemy on turn one. We get to turn two, and hey, AGL Grade 8 Turles is there. And uh, he, he wiped out, you know, the remaining enemies. And then it, you know, pushed me to the next rotation. So then, you know, we're back on rotation one uh, for the next fight. And physical Turles just one shot every, like, the first three enemies. And then the LR Turles one shot the final enemy of uh, Bobbity and Bob Bobbity's army. So we just one shot all of those guys. And now here we are in fight three against Kid Buu, and we finally have a rotation of this Turles. Now, um, unfortunately, the only links he has active here, here are Brutal Beatdown, Destroyer of the Universe, and Thirst for Conquest. Um, luckily, Thirst for Conquest and Destroyer of the Universe are really good links, but we're missing out on Prepared for Battle and Big Bad Bosses, who we would have had with the Great Ape Turles. Um, but apparently he was in the third slot on that second rotation, so he floated himself off. So we would have had a rotation of Amont and Raisin, Turles, and Great Ape Turles, but um, we didn't get that. Because that's the way things are going right now. Um, and I already need to reset the rotate. Ah! Okay, here. So I guess let's just ignore a super attack for a Mond and Raisin right here. And we'll give, uh, STR Turles. Oh. Right here, we'll give STR Turles a super attack. Now, what does STR Turles actually do? So, already you can see that Kid Boo is attack debuffed. Uh, that's because Turles has a passive 30% attack debuff, you know, going on. So, that, that is nice. Um, his super attack effect, he raises attack and defense for one turn. That's good. He has a medium chance of stunning, which is good. He gets an additional attack and defense plus 60% and a medium chance of guarding all attacks when facing two or more enemies. Um, we would have gotten to see that if we had been in either of the other two fights. So we're going to have to hop in for a second run here. Um, but then he also gets a chance of evading enemy attacks uh, plus 30% uh, when the enemy is in the attack down status. So... You know, this guy is a pretty interesting kit for a unit that is not easy aid yet. You know, that is the nice thing, right? Is they're releasing this STR Turles here, but they're not easy aiding him immediately, which is really nice. That means in the future, you know, they could buff up some of these uh, buffs in his passives, you know, like that 30% dodge chance that could go up to like 50. And then maybe we have like a decent unit on a rotate on like on, on our hands here now. You know, it being 50% when the enemy's in the attack down status, you know, that's going to be pretty situational. Um, but as far as making this guy good for, like, Super Battle Road, I think that's fine. If you give free-to-play units to me, like, a clear defined role, I think that is good. Now, specifically free-to-play TURs. I need free-to-play LRs to still be, like, competing with some of the best of them, because most of them are not super easy to get. I mean, like, Dr. Wheelow, for instance, right? He is, uh, I would say he is easy to get. But, I mean, he's, like, a really long grind, right? Like, for most people, that's going to take them, like, I don't know, like, a week more. Like, I, I, I don't know how long Dr. Wheeler would take if you weren't just, like, constantly going at it, you know? Like, how hard would Dr. Wheeler be to grind? Like, tell me, tell me, for those of you who are grinding Dr. Wheeler and you're not, like, using auto-clickers or, you know, spending stones on stamina, things like that, um, if you're just, like, naturally grinding Dr. Wheeler, let me know how long it's taking you. Like, it, it, is it, like... I don't know, like, is it only taking you an afternoon? Like, I, I, I really don't know. It's been a long time since I've done something like that. And even back then, whenever I was doing it, I was usually just using stones anyway, like, way back in the day to farm up the Prime Battle LRs, just because I wanted them done, like, right? I just, I didn't want to wait around, so... Let me know how long it's taking you guys to grind up that uh, Dr. Wheelow, but yeah, I mean, Turles seems like a good unit. Unfortunately, we just, we didn't get to see what we wanted to see in this uh, video, which was, you know, several turns of him on rotation. We're already four minutes in, and we've only seen one rotation of him, and I, I'm telling like, I don't know what to do about it, you know? So we'll hop back in for another run. Hopefully he's not in the off rotation, and we can actually get some footage of him in here in this fight. Um... We could hop to another Super Battle Road stage, but I figured, you know, Space Traveling Warriors kind of being like the theme of this celebration. You know, we should just use this stage. I'm going to get rid of the Ghost Usher. We don't need it. These enemies don't hit hard enough. <laughs> 
uh, and he's, oh my god, okay. Well, if we don't get the Great Ape Turles, this is going to be a great rotation for us here in just a second. Alright, here we go, finally. So we have a rotation here with multiple enemies. We have, like, all of, you know, Turles' important links activated here. Here we go. So Turles is at 238k defense here at the start of turn. Now, he does get 60% attack and defense when... Or, I'm sorry, no. He gets 90% attack and defense when performing a super attack. And then he gets 30% when he actually, like, from a super attack effect. So what we have to do here on this rotation to calculate this guy's defense, we would take 238, 417, oops. 417 multiplied by 1.9 for his passive 90% multiplicative buff. And then we would take that number. That's about 453k. We take 453k and we multiply by 1.3. And so he's going to be at about 589k defense here post super attack, which is pretty good considering he's also giving us the 30% passive debuff. He has the 30% chance to dodge and he does also have a 30% chance to guard on this rotation because there are two enemies. So... Um, for a free-to-play unit, I would say this STR Turles is pretty decent. Let's see what attack stat he shoots out here, you know, with, uh, you know, what did, what did I say, five out of seven links activated here? Um, he has all of his important links activated, and we're getting, uh, what is it, 50% support from Amand and Raisin as well. So let's, uh, let's see how he does right here, you know. Again, for a free-to-play unit, 600k defense is not too shabby, so, uh, this is, you know, easy money for, yeah, Amand and Raisin. So what does Turla shoot out here? A 4 million attack stat, basically. A 3.97. Uh, for a free-to-play unit, I'll take it. Like, honestly. Like, I mean, he's doing half the attack stat of a summonable sub-EZA. I think that's okay. Um, this guy, again, he hasn't EZA'd yet, so he's missing out on a lot of stat boosts. Um, and then just his passive is, like, incomplete, essentially. It's not very common these days that they release a unit like this, and they don't just immediately easy him. So this actually is, like, a nice breath of fresh air here, is, you know, we're not just immediately being pounded with his easy A, where he, it's like he's giving us a chance to, uh, like, Dokkan saying, like, ah, you know, we'll, we'll easy a him later. It's like, you know, wh when, are, when do you guys think they're gonna easy a him? Like, maybe during, like, a BoJack celebration? Like, who knows? Uh, but they're not easy aing him yet. So we'll have to see, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm interested. Uh, we should survive this rotation. Uh, we might play it out here just to show you guys what I was dealing with last rotation. Okay, Turles didn't like triple super this time. That's good. And we still have two more, so a lot can... Oh, he did double super. All right, yeah. See, this is what happened last rotation, except for Turles got the triple super the first time. And yeah, he just wipes out all of the enemies. And then the LR Turles came in and wiped out uh, whoever's at the end there. Who is it? Pui Pui? Is Pui Pui at the end? The, L the LR Turles just wiped Pui Pui. So yeah, there we go. This is easy money. And then I, I, I think we're just going to KO again. So if we if we KO here, I will cut. And I'll come back against... Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll come against just like the legendary Goku event. We'll, we'll just go check that out. We'll just hop in there. Um, he needs to be up against two or more enemies to get the extra 60% attack and defense and medium chance to guard. Though, so I mean, I don't know. Like, this guy's clearly meant to be used against multiple enemies right now. Um... We just don't have very many multiple enemy fights, so... Not sure where exactly I want to use them. I don't really want to take them into a fight like, uh... Oh, good. We can get one more rotation right here. Okay, that's 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 good. Um... Well, can we? <laughs> I mean, I guess we can. We can throw him in slot one right here and just see what he gets. Uh, with no big bad bosses activated here, let's see what he gets. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think we've seen enough from this Turles, honestly. I could just move into the breakdown. I mean, he's... Oh, at a 2.6 million. That is, uh, that is pretty low... That, that's actually really low. Remember, he gets that extra 60% attack and defense at the start of turn when facing two or more enemies. We were only facing one right there, so that 2.6 million attacks stat, that's pretty low. That's, that's pretty, pretty, pretty low. You know, we had most of his good links active there except for, um, shatter, well, except for, uh, big bad bosses. I was going to say shattering the limit. We, most of his good links, we had Destroyer of the Universe, Thirst for Conquest, like those two. We had those activated and he only hit like a 2 million. Like this guy, I mean, he's clearly incomplete. But I think some players can get some use out of, usage out of these guys. You know, he's on six categories. Uh, what is it? I think Low Class Warriors, doesn't it have a Super Battle Road stage? It, it might. I can't remember. But, like, Movie Bosses has a Super Battle Road and, the, and an Extreme Super Battle Road. Same with Pure Saiyans, Terrifying Conquerors, Space Traveling Warriors, and Planetary Destruction might. I don't remember. 
Um, but regardless, like a free to play player can get some use out of this guy in several super battle road stages. And I think that it, that is good. You know, it's like a new player starts their account, uh, during this Turles celebration and they're trying to figure out some content that they can do to grind up some stones. Well, you can farm up this free to play Turles and maybe grab some other units and, uh, you might have a chance to compete in one of those super battle road stages. So, or extreme super battle road, but yeah, you guys let me know what you think about this Turles. Um, he is good for chain battle at the very least, so make sure you grind this guy up for chain battle. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching, and let's go ahead and move into the breakdown. Alright, this is atypical low class warrior Turles. His leader skill is physical type enemies, attack and defense, minus 30% to stats. So if, so if there's ever a physical type boss that can have their attack and defense lowered, you could potentially run two of these guys as your leader and uh, maybe get some shenanigans going. Now, 60% attack and defense depending on the boss, may not be uh, enough to really protect you. But, you know, I mean, you you could maybe do some shenanigans with this. We'll see what it ends up being after he easy A's eventually. Um, his super attack is the kill driver. It raises attack and defense for one turn. It causes supreme damage to the enemy. Um, you know, 30% attack and defense is pretty good. Uh, we'd like to see that. You know, this, like what we want to see right now from this guy more than anything, more than anything, is the skeleton of a good kit. So whenever we're evaluating this guy, we know he's probably going to easy A in the future. So what are things that we want to see now? Because typically, whenever they do these easy A's, they don't really change the kit up too much. Um, they're going to give him the stat increase. They're going to buff up some of these numbers in his passive. You know, like maybe they'll move this to like 150. Maybe they'll move this to 120. Maybe they'll move the... Uh, they probably won't move that... Um, Maybe they move this to high chance. You guys kind of get the point, right? Like, they'll kind of, this is just kind of like the skeleton. This is like the floor. They're just going to kind of buff up these numbers a little bit and then, you know, let them go wild. Um, so, what we want to see from his kit right now is just like things that look good. And 30% defense from his 12 key super attack before he easy A's is definitely a good sign. His passive skill is pressure beyond reason. He gets key plus two attack and defense plus 120% at the start of turn. And then he gets an additional 90% attack and defense when performing a super attack. Um, this is good, right? I mean, this is like a nice multiplicative 90% buff. So, I mean, we will take that. Again, what we want to see is a good skeleton here. And this this is a good skele skeleton. You know, getting a start of turn attack and defense and then getting multiplicative passive attack and defense. That is good. We love to see that. You know, definitely things to look out for in units when evaluating them, uh, you know, before they easy A. Start a turn defense, good. Multiplicative passive defense, good. Multiplicative super attack defense, that's good. So, uh, he's got like a nice skeleton. He does, get, he does do all enemies, attack minus 30%. This is a great super battle road ability. Um, it can be utilized in a few red zone stages, but only at the beginning and only a few of them. So, um, this is a good ability though. It gives him a nice roll for his lifetime and that he'll always be good in super battle road stages. So for like a new player, this is a great pickup. So definitely grab this guy if you're a new player. Um, he's also going to be pretty good for chain battle coming up. So, you know, make sure you, uh, you know, you have this guy ready to go for that. He has a medium chance of stunning the attacked enemy from his passive. Uh, passive stun chances are only for one turn. We kind of saw that in the video. I believe he stunned Kid Buu on his first rotation that we got in the video. And then if you noticed on the next rotation, Kid Buu was no longer stunned. That's because passive stuns, unless otherwise specified, are typically only one turn. So this is a 30% chance to stun the enemy for one turn, which is, yeah, I mean, it's good, right? Uh, that in combo with his 30% defense, yeah, that, I mean, this is something to work with, again, on his easy A kit. Um, it's kind of designed around Super Battle Road, but I am totally okay with them giving these, like, free-to-play units like this, like, a clear defined role. So, yeah, I mean, that, that is decent. He gets an additional attack and defense plus 60% and a medium chance of guarding all attacks when facing two or more enemies. Uh, this is good. Again, this, like, you look at this. They are building this guy. They are telling you to use this guy in Super Battle Road. That's what they're telling you to do. Um, that That is like the clear defined role for this guy. I, what I would like to see here is honestly, I would like this to just be guaranteed guard um, whenever he easy A's. It probably won't be. It'll probably be like a high chance, a great chance if we're really lucky. Um, but I would expect maybe a high chance here post uh, easy A, which I mean, you know, it, it's something, right? And then he gets a chance of evading enemy attacks, including super attacks plus 30% when the target enemy is in the attack down status. Um, so essentially, he also just has a medium chance to dodge in super battle road because as soon as he's on rotation, they're in the attack down status. So, um, you know, buff this up to like high chance to guard, high chance to dodge. And this guy could be a real super battle road killer in the future. Um, his link skills are basically the same as every Turles. 
Except he is shattering the limit instead of fierce battle. So, you know, brutal beatdown, destroy the universe, sand warrior race, fear, uh, thirst for conquest, prepared for battle, big bad bosses, shattering the limit. Uh, pretty good. You know what? You know, this guy is a character that you do want to link level. Make sure you get destroyer of the universe, thirst for conquest, big bad bosses specifically. You want those at level 10. Prepared for battle too, but uh, these are going to give you your big buffs. I guess shattering the limit as well. It also gives attack and defense. These are his six categories right here. And these are his 200% leaders. Uh, unfortunately, Raditz sucks and he doesn't really work well on the Ginyu team. So, you know, Turles, like he shares the name with his best leader, which is uh, kind of unfortunate. We could really use that same name linking update. Uh, and then these are his best linking partners. Same thing with Turles, you know, it's just like he links best with Turles and other Saiyans. And then big bad bosses, characters, terrifying conquerors, things like that. So let me know what you guys think about this uh, free to play STR Turles. I thought he looked pretty good. We only got a few rotations in the video, but I think we saw what we needed to see, right? So let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. I'm going to catch you guys next time.